Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is going to be a deep clean of my kitchen and specifically my microwave, stove top and oven area of my kitchen. We're really gonna get a deep clean in those areas. So I hope this gives you a lot of motivation if you are looking to do some cleaning in your own kitchen today. I started out in that little cabinet above my microwave. I just figured since I was doing this whole section of my kitchen, I'd go ahead and clear out the cabinet too. It needed to be cleaned out clearly. It was pretty messy. We have like most of our supplements and like daily vitamins and things in this cabinet. So I had a lot of like doubles of things. I had multiple packages that had been opened. So I tried to consolidate things where I could just to kind of clear out some clutter in that area. So I put my hesitations on the show Cause this is what I choose This will be the easiest thing if I let it And I can't be too afraid to fall So I'm even then moving on to the microwave, I took out the little vent covers underneath the microwave so I could clean those. And then I created a little cleaning solution with some dish soap and hot water that I used to clean out my entire microwave. hand wash the microwave plate just like you would hand wash any other dish just with some soap and scrubbing it down and then I also hand washed those uh, little microwave vent covers I guess is what you would call them um, you want to make sure you use something with bristles like this little scrub brush that I'm using and not a sponge on these things because they will completely tear up a sponge so you don't want to waste a sponge <laughs> ruining it on these little grates just use something with bristles and it should clean it off pretty well Onto my stove mine comes apart completely basically so I'm just taking all of those little pieces off so I can hand wash them in the sink and then I make a little solution with this barkeepers friend and water so I love this stuff for getting like burnt on food off of things like my stove pieces as well as it works really great on like um, if you burn something into a pot or a pan it works really great for that they do sell a paste as well, like a barkeeper's friend paste, so you don't have to mix it together yourself like I did. However, I have heard from other people that the paste doesn't work as well. I've never tried it myself, so I can't speak to that, but um, I can tell you that the powder works incredibly well. It is a little bit of a extra step to have to like turn it into a paste, but it works incredibly well. I really only ever use it when I'm doing like my, my deep clean like this. I don't use it necessarily on like a daily or even weekly basis. I really just use it for deep cleaning and it's wonderful. For the better, and I just can't explain what it is you've done. Walk me down the pavement Right up to my driver's door I 
roll my window down. Now, unfortunately, I think the people who lived in this apartment previously did not own Barkeeper's Friend, and some of these stains are so burnt on that they're just in the metal now, it seems like. I cannot get them out. They don't even have any raised texture. They're like in it, if that makes sense. So uh, I got out as much as I could, but some of it was just, it's not going anywhere. I'll be sure to tell you every day. I'll never be the same Because of you I'm changed for the better And I just can't explain What you've done to me I'll never be the same Now that the stove is all put back together, we'll move on to our oven. I'm just taking the oven racks out and then I'm using this scrub daddy sponge. If you've seen any of my kitchen deep clean videos before, you know that I love this product for cleaning the oven. It is the best. If you've never used a scrub daddy sponge before, they are incredible. They are antimicrobial, I think is the word for it, but basically they don't collect bacteria or germs so they will last you forever they're super super durable i had one for like multiple months which is just insane for a sponge that i use to deep clean my oven and scrub tough dishes and all that kind of stuff and then i'm also using that barkeeper's friend paste that i made earlier and i'm using my scrub daddy to just apply it i'm gonna apply it all over my oven and then let it sit for a little bit and kind of work its magic while I clean the oven racks, and then we'll come back and use that scrub daddy to scrub it all off here in a minute. Just starving for something you can't touch, would you be honest with me right now? There's something in the undercurrent, I can feel it coming up. Don't you wanna feel it, taking over your senses? Don't you ever fear it, technologic advances? Baby, come escape with me. I'll come sweep you off of your feet. Don't you wanna feel it? Don't you wanna? Don't you wanna? I'll have all the products that I'm using to clean linked in the description box below as usual. So if there's anything that you want to purchase for yourself, it's all linked down below. As you can probably tell, the Scrub Daddy and the Barkeeper's Friend are kind of my two best friends when it comes to deep cleaning my kitchen, especially my stove and my oven. So those are the two products that I think you just can't live without for these deep clean kind of days like today. Don't you wanna, don't you wanna Normally, I would be wearing rubber gloves to do all of this cleaning because working with all these metal pieces like these racks and the stove pieces and, and especially cleaning the inside of your oven, you can really slice up your fingers and your hands on all of the little sharp edges and stuff. And so I always wear gloves when I do this to protect my hands. Plus with these harsh chemicals, you can end up really drying your hands out from just working with them and getting your hands wet so much and all that. So I highly recommend 
wearing rubber gloves. So do as I say and not as I do. I had thrown away my last pair of rubber gloves like a couple days before this and I didn't think to replace them before doing this video. So I actually did end up cutting my hands up a little bit on this oven. So do as I say and not as I do in this instance. I actually recommend having two pairs of rubber gloves in your household, one pair for cleaning your bathroom and specifically like your toilets and one pair for cleaning your kitchen and doing dishes and that kind of thing. Um, they're super cheap. You can get them at Walmart for like, I think about $2. I'll link some, I can probably find some on Amazon for you that are super cheap too. Um, and the ones I had lasted me a good while before they started kind of getting little holes in them and getting a little beat up. So, um, just get yourself a pair. It makes life so much easier. As you can see, I was kind of struggling to get those stains off of the bottom of my oven. I'll have to look back on previous cleaning videos. I can't remember if they were already there when we moved in maybe, but I'm pretty sure I could have gotten more of them off if I had scrubbed a little longer and harder. But honestly, I was just kind of over it at this point. I had sliced up my hands quite a bit um, because I didn't have gloves on and I was just ready to be done cleaning this oven. So I decided that that was gonna be good for today because Sometimes you're just, you need to call it quits. Progress is better than perfection, right? Once the oven was done, I went ahead and opened up that little drawer underneath the oven and wow, it was really, really dirty in there. So many little crumbs from the oven end up falling down into there. If you haven't cleaned yours out in a while, you'll probably be a little shocked like I was by how dirty it is. So I uh, highly recommend opening up that drawer, clearing it out and cleaning that up. Now, would you be the most beautiful consequence of a that's coming down Standing up on our own For the things we know Raise a voice, hear it echo Raise a voice, hear it echo Alrighty, you guys, my microwave stove oven combo is all clean. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a lot of cleaning motivation to get some deep cleaning done in your own house. If you did, hit that like button down below. Make sure you're subscribed and have your bell notifications turned on. I'm gonna be making several more kitchen deep cleaning videos. I've gotta go through my fridge, my dishwasher, all my cabinets, all that kind of thing. So keep an eye out for those videos. I'll have more cleaning motivation here for you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye.